Hey y'all, it's Heather with Smoky Fireside Creations and I have a video that I've been wanting to film the past couple days but as you might be able to tell from the sound of my voice, I'm fighting a really bad cold. But on the other hand, I wanted to get this video out to you because I think it's absolutely adorable and if I can inspire you to get something, <clears throat> one of these products, then I know I've done my job. So one of the things with Valentine's Day coming up, it's next Tuesday in case you're not aware, um, one of my favorite accessories, so to say, are lip products and nail polish. Those are probably always my go-to items when I'm at the store. I always feel like I need to try a new lip and a new nail polish. And so as you can kind of see, this is what I found in my last trip to the store. And, if you haven't noticed, a lot of the colors here that I've picked out match the nail polishes. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm a fan of Essie Nail Polish. I feel like they have a great quality product and it stays on, from my experience, it stays on a little bit better than some of the others that I've tried. Um, so my nails that I have painted are actually this color here. This is called watermelon and I love it. What I did was I did two, um, or I did one coat of a base coat. I did two coats of the nail polish and then I did two coats of the SC top coat and I used all SC specific brand, um, top coat, base coat, and of course the nail polish. So I really love how it's turned out. This is actually day number three, which um, there's no chipping. As you can see here, there's no chipping on my nails. And I absolutely love that. Usually by like the third day, I can see some chipping around the edges of my nails and there's not any. And so I'm not sure whether it's because I did, there's actually five coats of polish on my hands or on my fingers between the top coat, the base coat, and the polish. Um, I'm not sure if it's because of that or um, because this uh, nail polish is fantastic. Um, this is not a sponsored video. I just, I really love the Essie brand of nail polish and I'm an ambassador for it because I love it so much. So I want to go some, I want to go through some of the new colors that I was able to pick up and show you how I'm going to pair my lip products with my nail pol with my nail polish. So obviously the top coat and base coat are clear. So I wanted some like springy, summery colors because I'm so tired of this winter drab. Again, with this stupid cold that won't go away. I just, I wanted something, um, something to look forward to, you know, in spring. And for me, again, my favorite go-to products are lip products and nail products. So this color is like a peachy coral color, more of like a... Maybe like a salmon color. It's called Cute as a Button. Really pretty. The next color that I picked up is more of a warm coral color. It's called Enough is Enough. It's number 576. Cute as a Button is number 568. The next color I wanted like a really pretty pink um for valentine's day and this is called mod square it's number 244 my next color that is actually the one that i have on is called watermelon it's 264 it's kind of in between a red and pink which which i love um i just love how it turned out and then the last color that i was able to pick up is called big spender and it's number 288 and it's a really pretty like fuchsia magenta type color and so you can kind of see these are the five colors that i picked up and you you'll be able to see how i've paired them with my lip products now all of these products are revlon lip products these products here are actually I believe they're new and this is the wrapper that they come in let me zoom out for you so this is the wrapper that they come in and it's packaged just like this 
So it'll look like it'll look just like this when you go to the store to pick it up because maybe you've seen this video and I've inspired you to go pick it up um, because these products are fantastic. So this is called the Revlon Kiss Balm. Um, it's a lasting hydration, natural fruit oils, um, and then it has a light scent. It also has SPF 20 in it, which is perfect. And um, right now, I think they only have six colors out because it's a new product. And so I picked up all six because guess what? They kind of matched my nail polish. And I didn't necessarily do that on purpose until I got home and I was like, oh my gosh, look look what I picked out. <laughs> and they ended up matching pretty much closely to the SE polishes that I picked up. So what I really like about the Revlon Kiss Balms is it's a slight hint of color um, and it feels like a chapstick. So I'm going to swatch these out for you on my hand just so that you can see what they look like and if you're interested in getting the color for yourself. So the first color here is called Tropical Coconut and it's really just like a clear color, like no color at all. This one's essentially, if you don't want, um, it's got a little bit of shine. It's basically if you don't want a color but you like the moisturization from this, um, then I would suggest going with the coconut because it's a clear, um, it's a clear balm. The next color is called Juicy Peach, I believe, which I don't know if I mentioned before, but these do have a slight scent to them, which it's a, it's a pleasant scent. It's not overpowering. Um, it's just something that um, kind of goes along with the color um, of the balm here. So the Juicy Peach, again, is just a very, it's a shiny... Uh, like chapstick form consistency with just a hint of peach color and so I'll show you like obviously um, I think it's really cute when you compare your nail colors with your lipsticks or your chapsticks so obviously I would pair this and this together um, just because I like matchy matchy type things so those would be my, um, those. The next color is called, um, Crisp Apple, and it's a red color. And again, all of these, like, uh, these Revlon Kiss Balms, they're not going to have a huge color. It's just going to be a very slight with most of it being, like, the moisturization that you're looking for out of a chapstick. Um, and I believe these were like three seventy four each, which the price point was was perfect. Um, and so I thought the juicy apple or the crisp apple would look cute with the enough is enough from Essie. The next one's called fresh strawberry. Again, a slight hint of color. Smells like strawberries. This one's actually one of my favorite ones so far. I've worn these. I've worn a different one each day this week so far. So the um, uh, fresh strawberry, again, I'd probably pair with Mod Squad here. And you can see how cute that is together. The next one, I'll go through the Revlon Kiss Bombs first before I get to the other ones. The next one's called Sweet Cherry. Again, just a little bit of a, um, just a slight bit darker than the strawberry color. Again, smells like cherries. Um, this one I would pair with a watermelon, which is the color of polish that I have on now. And then the last one that I have of the Revlon Kiss Balms are, or this one is the Berry Burst. And this is going to be the darkest of all of them, which you can see isn't very dark at all. It's just a really pretty um, berry color. And again, the uh, whichever, like the peach smells like peach, the apple smells like apple. So if that helps you in determining um, maybe which one you want to pick up, maybe go with your favorite flavor or your favorite color. Um, so again, I would probably pair my berry burst with my big spender. 
And what I found while I was shopping in the Revlon section of the store was they had two, um, two of the balm stain colors um, that I didn't have. And so I really liked this one. This one is 025 and it's called Sweetheart Valentine. How perfect is that? And so I'll, I'll swatch that next to this is close. Um, it's going to be closest to the watermelon nail polish. So I'm going to swatch it next to the water or the, uh, which one was that called? The sweet cherry in the state and the, uh, the Revlon Kiss Balms, just so you can kind of see the difference. So, the Revlon Balm Stains, it, it kind of smells like a mint, a mint scent, I think. And again, so the Balm Stain is going to be more color. It's not going to be as shiny. This is going to be like more of a lipstick, um, except it's the Balm Stain, which I'm obsessed with these. And if I can remember, I'll put a link in the description box below. I did do a swatch video of some of my other Revlon balm stains, which I love these. So between the Revlon Kiss, um, the Revlon Kiss balms, and then the balm stains, um, I'm pretty much in heaven. This one is called, um, it's 015, and it's called Cherish Devotion, which this one... I think I would probably wear with the big spender in the SE. So I will, it's kind of close to the, the berry one here, the outside. So I'll swatch it here so you guys can kind of see. This one is a really pretty light, like a light baby pink color. So I think any of these options are great if you're going for a, um, like a perfect Valentine's Day look. Um, like, I don't know. I, I just can't pick my favorite one of these because I love them all. So I don't know whether you guys do the same thing I do. I love, again, I love matching my my lip products up with my nail polishes that I'm going to wear either that day or for that week. Um, I just think that's something cool that I like to do. So let me know in the description box if you guys have something special like this that you guys feel like you do every week or for something special for yourself. So these are just a couple of the products that I got for my Valentine's Day favorite products. So again, I apologize for my voice, but I wanted to get this video out there to you guys to enjoy. So I hope you guys have a very happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you next time. Bye.